Thanks for coming back to the Double RT Boxing Show. For your new viewers, thanks for tuning in to the Double RT Boxing Show. If you have not shut me off already, this fight, Tanaka versus Gonzalez, went down kind of how the breakdown we discussed. Tanaka being successful, I believe we even said the seventh round. A, a lot that we uh, discussed was seen in the fight, the main game within the, the fight. What, how, and how was Tanaka going to look cutting him off? That was the thing we, we talked about. Gonzalez, best opportunity is going to be to move around and be first. He did a damn successful job at that. He was catching Tanaka with some clean left hands. It just, eventually, Tanaka was able to land those few body shots we talked about. Allow him to uh, be more successful at cutting them off. Because when he did cut him off, a few, for the moments he was, he, he was able to trap him against the ropes pretty well. But for the most part, he had Tanaka missing bad. Like no jab was used by Tanaka. Like, and, and, and I believe that was that led to. The, the chance and allow Gonzalez to be first with that uh, left and the counter left that he kept um, catching Tanaka with. Because Tanaka uh, a leap in with a hook or he had jab from too far and get countered with that left. The first with the left. So you saw you saw a little kink. You know, like, okay, maybe some person, um, well, like I said, we discussed He'll be able to move and pop Tanaka if, but for how long? And eventually, he's gonna have to stand there and trade with Tanaka, and he won't be able to go power for power. And we saw that in his fight, moving he had Tanaka looking bad, you know. And you was like, okay, you know, this is not going exactly so easy as everyone thought it was. But eventually, the body shot, the body shots was just vicious. Uh, it was funny. I think well, the, the, it was a, a, a leaping right hook to like the fucking kidney that uh, just sent him down. Uh, Gon sent Gonzalez down. Vicious, vicious hook. A leaping right hook. But what was funny was in the fourth round when uh, Gonzalez scored his knockdown of Tanaka. It was a, a nice straight right, but then it was more like a, a cup and hook. That I think it was. It kind of like kind of hit him, cupped him, pushed him down. Tanaka did the same shit the next round. Cuffed him and threw his ass down like, motherfucker, I know what you did. So I, th I thought that was kind of, you know, you know, low blow for low blow, cool moment in the fight. I thought that was pretty damn good. But once the body, once the body work start being consistent, because the movement, he had Tanaka missing. Tanaka was just hitting the ropes. You know, he was doing a Canelo against Mayweather. He was swinging with a hook, hit the ropes. Fucking Billy Joe Saunders Lemieux, you know, looking out to the crowd. He had Tanaka missing bad. Like, if you wanted to showboat like that, there was definitely opportunities. But Tanaka knocked his ass out with some hard body shots. Like, in, in round seven, when he was trying to track him down, he could avoid the headshots. But the body shots, once he started that again, it was the end of the downfall. It just kept crumbling him, kept crumbling him. And Tanaka does have vicious body shots. Like I said, like the, the fight went exactly how we thought it would be. Within the game, how can Tanaka cut him off? And that's going to lead to the success. Because once he cuts him off, it's going to force Gonzalez to trade with him. Which he could do. He just didn't have the power to match him. We discussed that. His best aspect was to move around the ring, be first on, off the movement. It worked. <laughs> it worked. It just... He didn't have enough power to slow Tanaka from coming in. He had to move and move and move, you know. It's, i seen, like I said, my favorite style is movers. You know, my favorite fighter is Aries Nandilara. i seen a mover get worn out. And that's almost what happened. The body shots wore uh, Gonzalez out. But we definitely saw a nice, if, you know, since Tanaka is being talked about as, a new pound-for-pound pound, Ty Lomachenko's record, you know, 
quick as for three division times. Since he's being mentioned like that, he's doing his thing. Great victory today, but is there a blueprint now? Is there? Right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. Thank you for tuning in.